Okay, uh, I noticed that my timer it, it told me to uh, time was up. So I went ahead and thought, well, I'll make a, another quick video just kind of showing you uh, how well the cell does produce uh, hydrogen and oxygen gas. Um, this is uh, filtered water again. I know, I know. I should be using distilled water, but uh, I'm actually in talks with uh, a friend of mine uh, trying to acquire a commercial grade uh, steam distiller which would allow me to make my own distilled water here at home in a very uh, rather a large amount of it in a very short period of time uh, kind of see how that how that goes uh, we, we <laughs> I think we've come to an agreement but uh, anyway this is fact filtered water I am using uh, potassium hydroxide is my electrolyte and I put in about oh, half a teaspoon so let's turn this on and right now cold start it's at about 4 amps and I don't know if you can see this or not let me see if I can zoom in a little tighter here Maybe I'll stop the gas production and restart it. I want to point out something here. Again, uh, this cell was constructed uh, using my equation that I have posted. <clears throat> and I want to stress that this is not, that equation isn't, isn't law, okay? Um, it's based on a few facts that I've gathered and I think it's a good starting point, as I've said in the past, a good reference point, if you will, in, in constructing or giving a start and a good start for uh, constructing some of these plate cells. But what I want you to notice here, and I hope it picks up here on the camera, that almost immediately when I flip the switch, you will see production, uh, almost a uniform production between all the plates. And that, that's really my goal here. Now a lot of people are saying, well that, that's, that's, that's obvious, CJ, because uh, you got X amount of gaps, you divide that by the voltage, and therefore you're, it's going to happen. Well, I, that may be true, but I think the idea is to use all the available surface to its full potential. And I have seen many times where uh, a cell was constructed similarly to this one. Uh, there wasn't a, a large amount of plates. It wasn't a large series cell. And uh, it's, it was within the quote boundaries of uh, between 2 and uh, 2.3 volts per gap. And you know what? They just, they didn't, they all did not produce uh, probably as much as they should have. And I, I believe a lot of that has to do with the spacing. But uh, let's go ahead and flip this on, and maybe we can you can see what I'm talking about here. But there we go. I, I'd say within one and a half, two seconds, um, there's gas being produced between you know, it, between each plate. Obviously, the plates um, that are the electrodes, uh, you will see gas production the quickest. And those that are neutral plates, it will take some time. But, uh, and time, of course, in this instance is, is rather short. Which is good, 